What's up guys? This is Jesus Quesadilla and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City. However, as you might notice, the video quality is a little bit different. Now, that's because my PS2 basically ate up my game disc, so I'll be resuming this Let's Play on my copy of Vice City for the Xbox. So, we're going to pick up where we left off last time, we're going to go ahead and answer this phone call, and we're going to be taking a mission from... Colonel Cortez today, I believe, in order to advance the plot. I am cool, dog. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing, you and me, no problem. You know what I mean? Nah, I don't know what you mean, dog. Because otherwise, we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. Speak to you later. Smell you later, dog. Okay, so. In order to advance the plot, we need to do a mission for Colonel Cortez, so I'm going to go ahead, skip over to where that is, and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my god, I killed a hooker, and her twin sister saw everything. <laughs> Run away. Shoop the whoop. Alright guys, so we're back here at the Colonel's yacht, and we're going to go ahead and take the next mission from him. Yeah, sir, yes sir. Like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. Dun dun dun! One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I mean, well, it might just be that his name is Mr. Coke, and the thing that was stolen was our Coke, and, you know, Coke. Pretty obvious that Diaz is our guy. I don't know why we just don't jump him already. At least hear me out. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick it up for me. Nice ass, Tommy. Nice ass. Immediately. Then... Alright, so the gist of what we need to do in this mission is we need to acquire a military tank. So, in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and race over in this nice car right here. And we're going to go ahead and go over to the second uh, island, downtown area of Vice City. Uh, across the water, so I'm just going to go ahead and drive on that away. If I can drive today, good lord, if I don't get stopped by light poles and sidewalks all the time. Alright, so let's see if we can drive a little more carefully along this road here. On the way over there, I'll go ahead and lend you guys some uh, expert advice to maybe increase your skizzles. So there are two ways you can tackle this mission. The first is, well, there's going to be a convoy escorting the tank. So you can park a car, damn you loading screen, you can park a car in front of the convoy and that stops it. Or you can just follow the convoy from behind so they don't see you. And there will be a little pre-rendered part where they uh, come to a stop at a donut shop, I think. And when they do that, all the vehicles stop and the person inside the tank gets out to go get them donuts. So you can use either of those two times to get the convoy to come to a halt and then t take the tank while they're not paying attention. But, you know, the, neither of those are really that fun to me. I'm just going to go balls out and just run these bitches over. So let's run some bitches over. And these guys have really powerful weapons for this point in the game, so come prepared. I Whoa, damn. Yeah, okay, see what I mean? These guys will just ram right into you. So what I did was, before the mission started, I went ahead and stocked up on ammunition and armor, so this should be a breeze. I'm just going to go ahead and run up and... Where the hell's the tank? Where the hell is the tank? Oh, there's the tank. Okay, so I'm just going to make a make a dash for it. I'm going to take a few of these guys out. I'm just going to run and open the door and take the tank. And I'm going to take the tank. Why is the door not open? I'm going to take the... Goddamn... What the... Alright, uh... I'm going to reload the game, and I'll be re-attempting that, guys. I didn't go quite as I planned. I'll see you in a second when I've gotten to that point in the mission again. Alright, take two, guys. And this time I got my V-Rock station playing, so I'm amped and I'm ready to go. So this time we're going to try and clear out more of the gunmen first before we try taking the tank. So, whoa, they already blew up my car. Damn. Why is this damn thing not opening? I think what you have to do is you might need to damage the door. I'm not entirely certain of that. Uh, I'm just going to take out all these guys here, and maybe once I take out enough of them, then I can get inside of it. If you keep your distance, then they can't really do too much to you, so... Looks like their fire is starting to slow down. I think I took out most of them. I'm just going to see if I can grab this vehicle. Where... Oh, God damn it. No! 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 No, Doc! No! God... That... 
Ah! Uh, take three. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. No, tip over, tip over. You, you son of a bitch. Ah, where? Oh, I need a new car. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm running. I don't give a damn. Alright guys, after the last two times ending in complete failure, I went ahead and... So what I decided to do was just do it the normal way, the boring way. I parked a car out in front of the convoy, so... They're gonna stop, they're not gonna move as long as there's a vehicle parked in front of them. And the driver gets out for you, and this time, there we go! I, I don't know why that was so damn difficult, I finally got the tank. Alright, from this point on, the mission is a breeze, this tank is an absolute beast of a vehicle. You can shoot a cannon, and any car that touches you, other than another tank, will explode upon contact. So, as you can see, I'm driving along here, and shit is just blowing up everywhere. I'm shooting stuff with my turret, stuff's blowing up all over the place, and you notice there's a, detona a, a detonation countdown? Well, that's not too big of a problem, because the, park the parking garage that you have to take it to is right around the corner here. You really shouldn't have a problem making it there within the time limit because, like I said, even though this thing drives slowly, when you're in it, you're practically invincible. So with that, this mission that otherwise isn't all that difficult is now complete, and we're able to resume with the story of the game. But because of all my failure, I'm going to go outside, maybe get some iced tea, just kind of simmer down after about 20 minutes of straight recording, Give my capture card a little time because it looks like the game's starting to lag up a little bit here. When I come back, we will be resuming the game and we're going to probably pick it up with the next line of Diaz related missions. Oh, before I go, let's take this phone call. Alright, alright, excellent, excellent. So we'll come see you, Kent Paul, in the next episode, though. Once again, this has been Jesus Quesadilla. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a comment below, and that is about it. Peace.